Hello there and welcome back to the channel where today, well, today we are back with the simulation game news for this month. There's quite a lot of new games and new announcements to discuss, so without any further ado, let's get to them. From the creators of Design This Castle and Design This Home, we have a new and interesting looking take on the house repair simulation topic area uh, with rehabbers. Uh, Rehabbers is a gridless home construction simulator allowing you to build and place foundations, walls, flooring, and a series of customizable in-house items of furniture uh, to really snazz up your property. Uh, before you build up uh, through, uh, you'll have to repair and clean up what's there uh, beforehand. Uh, repairing walls, pulling weeds, and cleaning floors will all contribute towards getting the overall profit for you and your business to be increased. Uh, not only can you work on the house and rehabbers, but you can also work on the garden, giving it some life and making the house more attractive to buyers in the process. Uh, overall, Rehabbers looks like a terrific little simulation game with a prospective release date of Q2 2020, although Q2 has been and gone at this point in time. Next, we have the soon-to-be-released Golftopia. Uh, Golftopia is a tycoon management simulation game which allows you to design, build, and manage your very own futuristic golf course. Uh, you'll be in charge of react from the structures to the grass to the lighting. You can build anything you want, uh, whatever you want. Uh, once you have a functional establishment, you need feedback so you can, well, improve it. Uh, thankfully, you can read the thoughts of your visitors, allowing you to easily and quickly find inefficiencies or lacking areas in your premises. Uh, you'll find as you grow your golfing establishment that the grass will fight with weeds. Uh, you'll need to keep your foliage and your grass in a good condition to impress your visitors and create the optimal golfing experience. Uh, Golftopia also includes a load of interesting and unique objects for you to liven up your golf course and add that futuristic experience we mentioned earlier. Uh, all in all, it looks like it's got a gosh darn awesome little game going on here and having played it myself, I would recommend you buy it come the 21st of July. Cardian City is a life simulation game allowing you to simulate all the best and worst aspects of real life in this digital world. Uh, taking care of your basic needs such as hunger, energy, motivation, and happiness as you make sure you earn enough to sustain it yourself. Uh, developing interests and hobbies and making friends along the way will of course be important as well. However, Things take a turn for the weird when you sleep, uh, entering an expansive dream world allowing you to build, craft, and roam the land in search of mysterious characters and beasts alike. It reminds me of Minecraft in that explanation, really. Uh, Cardian City seems uh, like an interesting take on that life simulation area and hopes to release on July 24th, 2020, as I'm writing this script. Um, it, it, it may come out the video before July 24th, so... Rising Star 2 is an upcoming management game which sees you try to become a world-famous rock star. Uh, in Rising Star 2, you'll start off as a rookie musician where you'll have to create your own band or join another. Uh, from here, you'll write songs, craft set lists, and get familiar with your local clubbing scene. Uh, your goal will always be to grow your fame and your popularity uh, to garner yourself managers, producers, and record deals alongside product endorsements to make that lovely, lovely money. Uh, you'll be able to customize your band with clothing, hairstyles, new equipment, and even cool customizable vans. Uh, as you get more fame, you can go on tour around the world making millions and spending it on luxury homes. All in all, Rising Star 2 seems like a damn enjoyable experience if, you know, Getting into the, the rock star music kind of area is, is something you've wanted to play. Next, we take a passing drive past Car Trader Simulator, which is an intriguing game focusing on the car repair and sales industry. Uh, you'll be put in the position of a startup car repair garage owner, uh, where you'll have to buy broken cars in many states of disrepair and fix them up for a profit in order to grow and expand your car repair business. As you gain more money from these sales, you can increase the production of repaired vehicles by purchasing uh, multiple garages and more advanced educated workers uh, to be placed within these garages. Uh, you can, of course, also cut corners uh, to save money by buying shady cars and shady parts, but do so at your own risk. 
the game recently had both a demo and a prologue version of the game on Steam for free, which I highly recommend you go and check out while they are still available right now. Uh, the full featured game hopes to release in the summer months of 2020. Hydraneer is a mining sandbox simulation game where you dig for gold, amongst other precious resources, uh, to build a massive mining base of operations, uh, starting with primitive tools and working your way up to hydro-powered machinery and massive player-built structures to improve your mining production to sell on the open market. Uh, it isn't, uh, it's in the info, as you progress uh, from spades and buckets, you construct machines around the hydro systems, uh, turning useless lumps of machinery into powerful hydro rigs and hydro structures which can be used to increase the output of this material that you are spending your time mining. Uh, the game features tycoon-esque mecha uh, man mechanics sorry, to manage the selling and business side of the operation and to ensure your hydro endeavors are properly funded uh, so that they can keep on doing what they are doing. Uh, Hydroneer is available for £7.19 at least on Steam. Today we have the upcoming Q4 2020 release of Aircraft Carrier Survival. Uh, aircraft Carrier Survival allows you to take control of a fully crewed aircraft carrier, its crew, its officers and its planes all being at your disposal uh, in the heat of the Second World War. Uh, you'll have to assign crew and officers to focus on key areas of your choice in order to, to develop a plan which will outsmart the deadly enemy. As you delve deeper into enemy territory, you'll have to handle the damage of anything from a disease outbreak to a torpedo hit on a crashed plane in order to survive. Uh, when in the heat of battle, you'll have to use your aircraft, your turrets, and a series of other powerful munitions and tactical maneuvers to outsmart and outpace the enemy uh, to lead you and your crew to an undisputed victory. Uh, the game has a Q4 perspective release for this year. The next game on today's list is Roller Coaster Mechanic. Uh, Roller Coaster Mechanic is exactly what it says on the tin. A uh, game focusing on you, the player, carrying out the day to day activities of a mechanic at a roller coaster theme park. Uh, repairing broken rides, rebuilding destroyed ones, and much, much more. Uh, throughout this process, you'll have to first diagnose and find the problem at hand, causing issues, uh, repair said problem with new or used parts which fit the job, uh, and you'll also have to ensure that everything is well cleaned and tested before allowing these fee-paying members of the public back aboard your rides. Uh, all around, it seems like a fun little game of roller coaster repair work was a uh, dream job of yours in the past, which in all honesty I'd say is something I struggle to believe if it's true. Now, before you ask if I've made a type error, the official Steam name for this game is in full block capitals, Television Simulator Entertainment Simulator. Uh, or, well, uh, it is translated from Chinese, uh, so maybe some of it was lost slightly in translation. However, uh, despite the Chinese nature of the game, it appears to have some interesting mechanics and gameplay quirks. Uh, the game sees you enter the TV industry, becoming the director of your very own TV station. Uh, you'll have to manage programming, uh, series production, uh, streaming, and uh, sorry, streaming on the interwebs, and much, much more. Uh, alongside this, the game features a complex rating system uh, where each viewer can be categorized into 17 separate viewing groups to help aid programming, uh, apparently. Uh, it also includes a public opinion system to get feedback on your performance and what your viewers think of your station and the scheduling. Uh, overall, the game looks pretty cool if you can understand the Chinese uh, aspect of the entire game. Uh, if not, it may get a translation in the future as uh, that's something the developers have mentioned. It has a prospective release date of the 30th of October 2020. Weed County is a recently released drug tycoon game. Uh, Weed County sees you hit with $500 million in debt after you stole from one of the largest drug cartels around. Uh, in order to pay them back, you have to grow, produce, and sell your very own weed to get money in and get your debt paid at the risk of your own death. Uh, the game's main features are the ability to grow and sell weed, uh, launder dirty money, uh, get jobs and work to earn money, uh, maintain needs such as energy, hunger and thirst, buy furniture to furnish your house, upgrade your house itself, uh, earn respect from the locals and lower suspicion with the local authorities as well. Uh, all in all, the idea is good, but the implementation uh, from uh, many has seems to be uh, reported as flawed. 
On the 6th of April uh, this year, Space Station Manager was released onto Steam to positive reviews. My phone is not on silent. Uh, space Station Manager allows you to design and build your own space station, funnily enough, uh, utilizing various parts and the objects uh, available to you to create an efficient and functional station for spacey stuff usage, I guess. Uh, you can plan the layout before. Uh, you even build it, creating not only a uh, builder's plan, but a business plan as well at the same time. Uh, ensuring the buildings that you commission, such as hotels or industrial complexes, will essentially uh, lead to the profitability of your station. Uh, the game also allows you to research new technologies to advance your station and cultivate crops in space to supply residents with the essential elements to survive in the harsh and barren environment that is space. Lastly, we have a new and upcoming game with Alaskan Truck Simulator. Uh, Alaskan Truck Simulator allows you to get behind the wheel of some of the largest, most powerful big rigs in the world as you make your way uh, through the tough and harsh landscape that is the Alaskan terrain. Uh, ferrying cargo around Alaska will be your primary job uh, as you make money to fuel your truck and to fuel your ambitions. Uh, the game will feature a dynamic weather system and a day and night cycle, vast and expansive environments for your exploration, uh, a dynamic economy based on jobs, ranks and performance, uh, a survival system and the ability to craft, repair and upgrade tr your truck and its parts. Uh, Alaskan Truck Simulator currently has no uh, release date. Anyway, that is it for today. That was the simulation news for this month. Hopefully you found a new game or two. Uh, but I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.